everybody. Thanks for joining me on my channel today with Amy's Creative Acrylics. I'm Amy. Hello, hello. Um, today I'm going to do another attempt. <laughs> I did uh, a painting that supposed to like resemble fire. Um, but I definitely used a canvas that was just way too small. And I really wasn't happy with it. Because um, I want it to look more like like a ring of fire, I guess, kind of. But I definitely want some negative space in the middle. Um, and I think, you know, I use too much paint, which isn't a surprise. <laughs> I tend to do that sometimes. So... Um, so I figured I'm going to use a bigger canvas and then maybe I'll have a little bit more room to, to work with rather than, cause the one I tried to do was on a 16 by 20. This one here is a 24 by 24 artist loft canvas. I do have it flooded here with artist loft acrylic full black mixed with liquid twist gloss pouring medium and flow trough. And I'm also gonna use like um, artist loss metallic red, creative inspirations, uh, Scarlet Lake, artist loss metallic lemon yellow, and then um, artist loss metallic orange. I like how it's kind of a deep orange. It's not like a bright one. I. In my other one, I did use a little bit of a fluorescent orange in there because I thought maybe it would just give it a little bit of a pop, which it did. It was very pretty. But like I said, my canvas was just too small for as much paint as I poured on the, on the canvas um, because I do want it to kind of, I do want to have some negative space in the middle. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> Trying to get my air bubbles here. A little hair. But I do thank everybody for watching. Hopefully you will enjoy the video and you will like and subscribe and share all that good fun stuff. It helps my channel out extremely a lot and I would appreciate it. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of go like this because I'm just going to kind of blow it out and then like have a little bit come in but like I said I definitely want some negative space so I think I'm going to kind of do it here and then like so I'll do like this side here and then this side here but still have <clears throat> um, I really want negative space left in the middle this little spot here that I I know my paints will even out, but I don't have a little one there. <laughs> All right, so what we'll do is I'm going to start with the metallic red. I hopefully I just don't pour too much on here.
much of the black there. Yeah, for sure, I like this a lot better. Hopefully I got that back in the right place here. Hopefully that's not too much yellow. Tell me what you think. If you think that's too much yellow, I don't know. Kind of I do in this, like this spot I feel like is too much yellow. Maybe even right here. Same thing on this one right here. Just a little bit. Then I think I'm done messing with it. <laughs> Don't quote me on that, but. Much, much better. All right, I'm going to bring it down for a closer look. I definitely like this better. Still maybe too much yellow, but you have to tell me what you think. Hi, everybody. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. Um, this is the dried result of the fire ring. Turned out really cool. Sorry about the glare here. I am pretty excited about how it turned out. The colors are beautiful. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. <laughs> I've been really sick here lately and <clears throat> I'm just now kind of being able to talk again. <laughs> but <clears throat> but I did want to just get a dried result for you before I posted this video up. But I hope you like it. You have to tell me what you think, everybody. And oh, this way is going to get more of a glare. Sorry. I'll try to get there. But I do thank everybody for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video and you will like and subscribe. And share and all that fun stuff. And yeah, keep being creative, everybody. Bye.